Welcome back viewers! 10 Easy Steps to Burn Fat Without Losing Muscle If you've been working hard to get in shape yet still want to lose fat, you may have concerns that you'll lose muscle as well. To prevent this, you can follow these 10 easy steps that will help you achieve the result you want. You must go about losing weight safely and effectively to optimize fat loss and muscle maintenance. In this video, we will learn 10 easy steps to burn fat without losing muscles. Keep on watching to find out more. Weight Loss versus Fat Loss It's no lie that losing weight can be a daunting task. From the dietary changes to the increased intensity and frequency of workouts, weight loss demands a major overhaul in your lifestyle. However, you must understand the difference between losing weight and losing fat. Doing that will help you achieve your fitness goals safely and efficiently. Your total body weight comprises the total mass of water, muscles, and fats in your body. So when you go on a weight loss quest, the chances are high that all three masses may drop. This, however, should not be your goal as it may result in serious health issues. You should aim to lose fats while gaining muscle simultaneously. So what is the best way to lose fat and why is muscle gain that important? Muscle gain is essential because they are a critical component of body movement and function. Any drop in muscle mass will adversely affect your strength and endurance levels. Here are the 10 easy steps to burn fat without losing muscle. Number 1. Use slow aerobic cardio With fat loss comes cardio training, yet the kind of cardio you do can maintain all your hard-earned muscle or destroy it. Use slow and easy methods of aerobic exercise such as walking on a treadmill at an incline, an easy bike ride, or a light jog. Maintaining an easy pace will only use your type 1 muscle fibers, which are extremely fatigue-resistant, and promote more blood circulation to help clear lactic acid and metabolic waste. It also improves your aerobic energy system to support more intense workouts, better recovery between sets, and more results in the gym. Number 2. Eat More Lean Protein If you want to maintain as much as possible, if not grow it during a cutting phase, you consume the optimal amount of protein. First, it boosts your metabolism throughout the day because protein takes more energy to digest than carbs or fat. Second, it keeps you full to prevent overeating. Finally, it prevents excessive muscle loss that could happen during a cut. Target at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight and get your protein from clean sources like lean meats, nuts, eggs, fish, and quality supplements. Number 3. Eat carbs after your workout Carbs are not evil. In fact, even during an ambitious learning phase, you still need carbohydrates, especially if you're still lifting heavy. After a hypertrophy-driven workout, your muscle fibers are damaged and your energy reserves need refueling. Starving your body of carbs will hurt your recovery and lead to increasingly crappier workouts. Instead, eat carbs post-workout. Once you finish your last set, your metabolism is high and your insulin sensitivity, your body's ability to tolerate carbs, is at its highest. Pick starches like rice, baked potatoes, and sweet potatoes to start the recovery process and fill your body with energy it needs to perform at a high level. Number 4. Sleep 8 hours a night Recovery is just as important as your training, especially during a cutting phase. Since you're putting your body through the tremendous state of calorie restriction and heavy weights, you need time to let your muscles recover and rebuild. While your body secretes growth hormone throughout the day, it peaks at night while you sleep, and it's also the highest when your sleep is deepest. Skimping on sleep, however, will only shortchange your muscle growth and repair. Crash diets will cause muscle loss no matter what you do. It's far too extreme on the body and won't give your body enough nutrients to heal and recover. Worse, you'll also risk health problems and even overtraining. If you want to cut after a bulking phase and still have muscle to show for it, start with a moderate deficit of only 500 calories. It's just the right number to spark fat loss without sacrificing muscle size or strength gains. Track your progress every few weeks in the form of body fat percentage, circumference measurements, and photos to ensure you're in the right direction. Before we continue, a like would be great. Number 5. Eat every 3 hours Eating small meals more often regulates blood sugar, promotes muscle mass, and eliminates mood swings and overeating. 
The key is to plan ahead to make sure you have something healthy on hand at work or on the go, so that you're fueled every three hours. Ideally, every meal will have a combination of carbs, protein, and fat. But if you're on the go, at least aim for something healthy such as nuts, seeds, dried fruit, energy bars, or a ready-to-drink protein beverage. Number 6. Avoid alcohol There's nothing wrong with an occasional drink. But if you want to build muscle and burn fat, knock it off for 30 days to see dramatic results. Alcohol disrupts REM sleep, packs on empty calories, increases the release of the stress hormone cortisol, and decreases protein synthesis for muscle fiber repair. Alcohol also diminishes water-soluble vitamins required for hormones to do their work, and decreases the body's ability to recover. After 30 days without alcohol, you'll likely see such dramatic results you'll go longer. You can go for 30 days, can't you? Number 7. Get Faster Sprinters have the leanest, most powerful bodies, yet we never equate the qualities we want – more muscle, a leaner body, with speed and explosive power. When you get faster, you improve your muscle size and power, the efficiency of your nervous system and even your flexibility. To get faster, head to a track or soccer field and alternate 400-meter runs at 80% effort with 400-meter walks. Do a light half-mile run before and after four intervals. Already a runner? Lengthen the intervals to a half-mile or go by time, three minutes on, three minutes off. Number 8. Reduce weight training volume and or frequency Your body is a phenomenal compensator, adapting to the most punishing of workouts quickly. That's why it's important to mix things up, not only in the weight room, but outside as well. If you're a gym rat, take things outside at least once a week. Head to your local park and do a routine of push-ups, dips, burpees, and pull-ups. If you're near a beach, do the routine in the sand for an added degree of difficulty. You'll challenge your body from different angles, break the monotony of the gym, and breathe some fresh air. Number 9. Take diet breaks when needed a diet break is typically a one to two week period where you come out of the deficit and back up your maintenance level for the purpose of briefly allowing many of the things that suck about fat loss, i.e. hormonal and metabolic adaptations, to recover a bit and go back to normal, or at least closer to normal. To take a diet break, increase your calorie intake, primarily via additional carbs, so that you are at your maintenance level every day for a period of one to two weeks. Diet break frequency should be dependent on personal needs and preferences and how much fat you have to lose. Generally speaking though, once every 6 to 16 weeks tends to be ideal for most, perhaps every 6 to 12 weeks if you have less to lose, and every 10 to 16 weeks if you have more to lose. Number 10. Prioritize recovery Active recovery from exercise helps you get the most out of every workout. But the most important form of recovery that none of us seem to get enough of is sleep. The amount of sleep you get also impacts whether or not you lose muscle as you lose fat, largely by influencing hormone levels. Cortisol, an anti-inflammatory hormone, increases in times of sleep deprivation or too little sleep. Cortisol in chronically too high levels can both inhibit weight loss and promote muscle degradation. Meanwhile, human growth hormone, which aids in muscle synthesis, peaks at night during sleep. Did you find these 10 steps easy? Share us your thoughts by leaving us a comment below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.